Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. I am here today for a very short Slim Talks video. This is not going to be too long. I just kind of wanted to address this because I've been getting a lot of questions about this and I kind of wanted to talk about it a little bit because it is uh, very relevant to my channel or rather the content that I post on my channel. Uh, but during the Nintendo Direct last week, we actually got some Mario Party news. Uh, they were revealed that they are working on a Mario Party Top 100 compilation game where basically... 100 mini games from the past uh, 10 Mario Party console games will be back in a Mario Party compilation. As far as uh, what else will be in the game, uh, we don't really have a very good idea. Uh, during the Direct, they only showed mini game footage, they showed nothing else. Uh, according to the website, there will be board gameplay, but what this board gameplay consists of, we have no idea. We don't know if it's going to be a return to traditional Mario Party. We don't know if it's going to be the car mechanic. We don't even know if they're going to even do like another maybe Star Rush type of thing as well. We literally have no idea what is exactly coming in the future for this game. All we know is that there are a hundred mini games from past Mario Party games that will be included in this feature. And once we uh, figured that out and saw all the trailers, saw the website and everything, uh, me and my good friend Pixel Plume, I'm going to give more credit to Pixel than me here because he's the one that kind of uh, spear spearheaded this idea. Um, he actually uh, looked through all the trailers, looked through the website, looked for any still image, looked for any uh, small footage that was shown in these uh, trailers and on the website, and determined around 65 minigames that will be returning in the top 100 and he actually posted an image on Twitter showcasing all of the minigames so uh, yeah uh, major 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 thank you to Pixel Bloom for doing that I helped him out with this list but uh, he definitely did a huge part of the work himself and uh, I think his uh, image was actually featured on Game Explain as well and uh, yeah, um, th these are the mini games that are so far confirmed to be in uh, Mario Party: The Top 100. Uh, we have some uh, interesting, interesting selections here. Honestly, I'm very like, as far as like the overall list is concerned, I'm very impressed with some of the choices they made, especially for Mario Party 3. They have like four of the top five minigames uh, in Mario Party 3, at least in my opinion, on this one list. You have Eats a Pizza, you have Toastal Titan, you have Chip Shot Challenge, which is my favorite, and you also have Snowball Summit as well. So just four really solid minigames, and honestly, the rest of the list is not much to sneeze at as well. Not crazy about Bouncing Drones, but that's just personal opinion. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of other really great choices here. From Mario Party, they have Facelift. Uh, they have Slot Car Derby, they have Shy Guy Says, uh, for Mario Party 2, they have Shell Shock, they have Dizzy Dancing, they have Roll, Roll Call, uh, they have Bumper Balls as well, uh, Mario Party 4, uh, they have Three Throw, they have Pass Apparel, uh, they have Reverse Bomb, we all know about that game in my uh, channel's history, uh, for Mario Party 5, um, Leaf Leap, they have Triple Jump, uh, Coney Island, uh, Mario Party 6, uh, they'll have a lot of mini games from Mario Party 6, but they have Rocky Road, they have Catch a Letter. Uh, for Mario Party 7, they have uh, Poke Pummel, uh, the, they have um, Jumpman, the DK mini game from that game, they have Deck Hands. Uh, Mario Party 8, uh, they have Aim of the Game, which I think is a really cool game. Uh, Mario Party 9, they have also some really good choices. Uh, they have uh, Jigsaw Jumble, Look Away, um, uh, Peak Precision, I really like that game. Uh, Mario Party 10, um, Flash Forward, uh, Sword of Score. So yeah, they just have some really, really good selections, but also they have some very questionable selections as well. Uh, one of the biggest ones is from Mario Party 1, Tug of War, which we know how controversial this game actually is for the uh, damage it caused to players uh, in spinning the control stick on the N64. And uh, Nintendo actually had a lawsuit in regards to that particular minigame. So uh, it's kind of funny to see that game back. Uh, my thoughts are that uh, they did want to try to include it because it was uh, notorious and uh, because they want to try to fix it and maybe do something else. They're probably going to turn that into a button mashing game, not a control stick spinning minigame. Because um, if, they, if they do control stick spinning... Uh, let's just say the uh, control stick on those 3DSs are not going to last very long. So I'm uh, going to be interested to see how that will happen. Uh, Mecha Marathon's actually back from Mario Party 2, which is weird. 
I already covered Bounce and Trounce. I thought that was a very weird inclusion. Um, oh, I didn't even mention Book Squirm from Mario Party 4. That's another really good one. I don't know why I didn't mention that. Uh, Mario Party 5, they have uh, Shy Guy Showdown, which is one of those uh, random dual mini games where you just press one button to win, pretty much. Uh, Mario Party 6, uh, Strawberry Short Fuse. Not crazy about that game. Uh, Mario Party 7, um, not really a big fan of uh, Monty's Revenge. Uh, they have some... Um, they have some Mike mini games, uh, which I'm very interested to see how they're going to do with those. Uh, but yeah, they have uh, Balloon Busters and Dart Attack, which I believe are uh, Mike mini games. So that's interesting. Uh, Mario Party 8. Uh, I mean, so far they don't really have bad additions for Mario Party 8, but they do have uh, motion control games because a lot of Mario Party 8 was motion controls. So I'm curious to see. What they're going to do with that, maybe because it is on the uh, 3DS, they'll do more of a touchscreen thing with those. Uh, Mario Party 9, uh, Goomba Bowling, not crazy about that. Uh, Peer Pressure, which was not a very good game, in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, uh, some very weird choices there as well. Uh, but um, for the most part, and they also have like... Uh, they're also using a bunch of uh, extra mini games too, like Jewel Drop from Mario Party 10, uh, Beach Volley Folly from Mario Party 4, and a lot of those other extra games you kind of have to unlock uh, while playing. So it's kind of interesting that they're using like a bunch of different variations as well. It's not just four player games, there's also one versus three, there's also two versus two. Uh, there was Mike mini games, there's the DK mini game I mentioned earlier, there's some dual games in here as well with like Vine with me and the. Uh, Shy Guy Showdown one I mentioned earlier. Uh, so yeah, they, they're using a lot of different uh, variations of games as well. So uh, really curious to see how this is going to be in the final product and how exactly it's going to translate uh, to an actual game. Because like I said before, we don't really know what the main part of the gameplay is going to be. We just know it has mini games. I was actually getting kind of weir uh, worried at first because I thought it was just going to be a mini game compilation. Like, literally, you turn on the game and then just play mini games, and that's it. I uh, kind of like with Mario Party having like a main like mode to play alongside those mini games. Uh, but again, we don't really know much about the game right now. We know there is going to be board gameplay, but we don't know how. So we're li literally just going to have to wait and see what this game is going to be like. Uh, and as far as my opinion, you know, I am very interested in this game. I'm very optimistic because they are, you know, essentially doing what a lot of people have requested for a long time, going back to the roots of Mario Party. And some have even suggested for the longest time doing like kind of a compilation of like all the Mario Party games in the past and using like boards and mini games from past Mario Party games. This is halfway to that and it could be the full 100% if we knew more about the game. And you know, there is still a possibility for that to happen, but I have a lot of concerns and my main concerns are just that when they showed the game, they literally just showed the mini games. They showed nothing else. And it just makes me uh, really wonder, like, what exactly will be the main mode of play here? How exactly will these minigames be delivered to us? Will it just be a compilation, or will there be an even greater mode at play as well? Like, we literally just have no idea right now, and I'm really curious to see um, how that's going to play out uh, when the game actually comes out in uh, early November. So, uh, we'll probably get some more information in October at some point, uh... I'm sure there'll be uh, people getting their early copies of the game, and then we'll start seeing what the game actually has to offer. Uh, but at this point, I'm optimistic, but I'm also very cautious as well. This is probably not going to be a day one purchase for me. And uh, with all the other games coming out uh, very soon, like Mario Odyssey, um, Fire Emblem Warriors, the new Pokemon game, there's just a lot of games I want to get right now, and I'm just kind of like, you know, while this was a cool announcement... Um, I'm just not really sure what to make of it just yet. I think we just have to kind of wait and see what's going to happen. I don't think people should really be disappointed in the game yet. But, um, you know, uh, I wouldn't get too carried away with what uh, has been revealed so far and what the game could be. Because um, with what uh, the developers of Mario Party have given to us as of late. Which, again, I do like Star Rush. And there are some aspects I do enjoy of Mario Party 10 and Island Tour. Uh, for the most part, I have been disappointed with the overall product, and uh, we'll just have to see uh, what this game actually delivers when it comes out. But I don't know. Uh, we'll see what happens. Just kind of wanted to talk about it for a bit because my channel is uh, very mostly Mario Party-centered, so 
um, you know, felt like it was a good time to kind of share my thoughts about that. And for people wondering when my next Mario Party playthrough is going to be, I am in the process of planning out my playthrough of Mario Party Island Tour. I'll go ahead and say that now. I don't know when exactly it is going to be, uh, because I'm focusing on a lot of other things right now. Uh, but I would like to do it very, very soon. So, um, you know, just kind of stay tuned. Uh, very soon there will be a weekend project on that. It's not going to be the next one. Um, I think I'm going to probably do some uh, Advance Wars on the weekends for a bit. Uh, then I might actually go back to that Pokemon Stadium playthrough that I've been kind of holding off on. Uh, but maybe after that I'll finally uh, take a dip into Mario Party Island Tour so I can kind of finish up more of the Mario Party games. Uh, so yeah, that's all I really wanted to say. Uh, again, big thank you to Pixel Plume for helping, or not even just helping, for spearheading the list of the returning mini games. Seriously, I had a lot of fun with them actually uh, determining all of those and figuring out which games would be playable. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and stop there. Uh, thanks for listening, and I'll catch you guys later. Later, folks.